Hi guys, welcome to another episode of our tutorials by Level Nation Studios. This is Super Sam once again, and in this very episode, I'm going to show you how to create and use post library here in Blender. So let's get started. So I'm going to work with this scene, and I'd already created some facial expressions here. Okay, and uh, my intention here is to create post library for this so as to reuse it in a different scene. Now, Blender has a new way of creating post library, but I'm going to show you the old way and how you can convert the old way to the new one. Okay, so now on the um, post library here, you have the new button. When you click on the new button, this gives you the opportunity to create your poses. And uh, by just clicking on the plus sign here, you have the add new. So click on the add new and you can rename it to whatever you want. So maybe face one. And now this face one, I want uh, my current face here to have uh, to be stored as face one. So to do this, I'm just going to click on the positive sign and go to replace existing and click on face one. So I'm going to hit the positive sign again to add a new face. This will be phase two. And uh, the same process. So I'm going to go to frame five to have a different uh, um, face pose and replace existing to have that. So now phase one has this look. Phase two has this look. And maybe I should do a third. And I'm going to stop there. So three. And I want that to be uh, maybe this, yeah. So replace existing and three. So now face has this, face two has this, and face three has this. So that is how the old um, post library works in Blender. Now to convert this to the new one, all you need to do is just click on the convert to post asset, right? So. When you click on that, maybe I should quickly show you here. Another window here and change this to the assets browser. So once you click on the convert to post asset, see what happens. My previous uh, poses have been converted to an asset in the asset uh, browser. So you have them and they work the same. So when you double click on phase one, you have that phase two and phase three. So this is how you can convert the old one to the new post library system here in Blender. So it's time to show you how you can create your post library assets using the new um, method in Blender here. So the first thing I want to do here is select the, the facial controls and Instead of clicking on the positive, the plus sign here, I want to go to my um, action editor and then change to post library. So when you change to post library, you see this copy pose as asset. The difference between copy pose as asset and create pose asset is when you click on the create pose asset, it's going to create a new action for whatever um, keyframe you are currently on. For example, um, I'm currently on uh, frame 15 here, and you can see the expression on the face. Let me turn this. I just want to hide that for you to see the expression on the face. And now when I click on Create Post Asset, it's going to yank off that particular keyframe into a new action. You can see the name of the action here has changed. But this is not what I want. OK, so Control-Z, back to uh, the facial poses action that we had. Now, I want to copy post as asset and not create post asset. So go to frame one and copy post as asset. So now the post has been copied as asset. Now to paste it in my um, asset browser, I'm just going to use the uh, paste as new asset in the asset browser. So if you don't have this, you can just hit on the end key to bring it up. OK, so paste as new asset and you have that. Now, currently, I have my thumbnail 
in in a format I'm not really a fan of because this uh, pose is meant for the facials it makes more sense to have a camera that shows more of the face so I can really see the expression now to change this I need to create a camera or use the camera I have in my scene but I'm going to create a camera for those who doesn't know how to work with a new camera in this so shift A and click on the new camera here I'm going to name this uh, facial okay so facial cam and I'm going to use Control O to switch to I did that in the wrong uh, window so here Control O to switch to the active selected camera which is the facial camera and I'm going to use the N key to make my camera um, active so I can zoom out and see my character which is what I'm doing now and I'm going to zoom in I think I like this yeah so go back to N and disable the camera again so when you scroll in and out using your mouse wheel your camera stays locked on the character's face and now that I have this I want to um, refresh my thumbnail I want to refresh the preview so I'm going to do so by clicking on this icon here and that gives me exactly what my camera is seeing at that point in time so I can then rename the new post assets that I just created so I'm going to name this as a uh, face one okay so I'm done with the first one now I want to go back to my rig go back to the post mode make sure the facial controls are selected which are in my case uh, you can hide the camera just to avoid the uh, distractions and then I'm going to the next frame and this is what that looks like and I'm going to repeat the same thing so copy pose as assets and then scroll down to the paste as new assets so click on that and then you have the new one so I'm going to rename all right so I think we are done here so you have face one two three four five here so this is how you can do it in the new method. Now the last thing I want to show you here is how to use this or reuse it in a different scene. Now currently, if you look to the left of my screen here, you can see I have my information showing under the current file. So when I go to a new scene, I wouldn't see this current file information in there. Everything is just going to be blank and I'm going to show you that now. So for you to uh, use these same thumbnails in a different uh, scene you need to create a post library directory for this so I'm going to create that now and this is how you do it you want to go to edit and click on preferences and uh, scroll down to file parts now on the file parts you can see asset libraries now under the asset libraries you want to click on this uh, plus sign here so plus sign and that uh, gives you a window where you can define where you want the uh, asset library to be added. So in my case, I want it under uh, auto tutorials, raw scene files, scene file poses, and I want it in here. So I want it to be saved as this name, create post library, the blend. So add that, bam. So now I have a post library for that. Now I can rename it as uh, facial poses. Yeah, because it's meant for facials. That's fine. And once you're done with that, you can just uh, save your preferences, close. And I'm going to save this. Save. Yeah. So now I'm going to open up a new scene to see how this works. Now I'm in a new scene. And in this new scene, I, I want to show... Um, Okay, let me just duplicate this once and for all. In this new scene, I want to create uh, another window here for my asset library. So just quickly bring that up, the asset browser. And now I need to link a character into this scene, but I'm gonna use the same character uh, I've been working with. So I'm going to the auto tutorials folder and bring uh, in our character. So go to the collection and the female group. Okay. 
objects, relations, make library override, and that gives me access to the rig. So back to post mode, and my character's face is selected. If it's not selected, you can just easily click on your selection set here to select the facial controls. All right, so in this new scene, I have my keyframes here. The keyframes were linked from the original scene. You know, we have the keyframes on the original scene, but that is not a problem. So I'm going to my um, action here. Under my action, I can break the link and have access to delete the keyframes. So this topic can be another out of tutorials because for some people, they might have issues in deleting uh, keyframes that were linked from a different scene. I just showed you how you can easily do so. So now I'm back to the, the, um, the plain format of this. So we have no keyframe and nothing. My intention here is to reuse the post library that I already created in this new scene. But when I go to current file, you can see I have no library assets in here, right? And if I want to get my information, all I need to do is just click on this current file and then scroll down to facial poses. This is the asset library that we created earlier. So I'm just going to click on that, bam. And as soon as I did that, you can see my post library assets appear, okay? So to, to test this out to see if it works, I'm going to hide the controls so you can see the effect of this. And I'm just going to double click on phase three. Bam, and you can see that. Phase four, that's what we have. Phase five, yeah. Phase one, phase two, and that's all. So with the dev look, double click on phase one, you have that. Phase two, or phase five, you have this. Phase four, phase three. So one of the applications of, of this, or how to write, rightly apply this is if you have a full body pose, probably from the, the character's head, the face, the body, and you want to apply all that information on your character. You don't have to select specific controls. Just click on uh, any of the poses you want to use, and that is going to apply it on all the controls. But if you just want to take out the face, for example, or the hand of the character, for example, make sure you select those specific controls that you want to apply the post library information on before you click on the post library and then you're done so this is what i'm going to call it a wrap i hope you've learned one or two things from this video don't forget to like the video subscribe to our channel if you've not done so and until next time keep your creativity blended